Hey, welcome to Canterbury and welcome to the Marlowe Studio where we're here for the fifth birthday party of my radio show. It's BBC Introducing in Kent and we've got five amazing Kent bands and artists on the bill tonight. The opening act on tonight's bill are from Tunbridge Wells and they're called Propellers. Oh, and here they are. Hi. 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 I'm standing here to... You know, I, I fit in well here. When I first met Max, I was really scared because, yeah, yeah you, you, in fact, you're in high order. Yeah. You've gone into <laughs> yeah, no. Is that how you just naturally arrange yourselves? <laughs> Tell us about what's going on tonight. How is it all going to work? What's happening? Well, we're going to play some songs. And, uh, well, we've got, should we introduce ourselves as instruments? Yeah, sure, yeah, okay, so I'm Will on drums. Uh, I'm Jimmy on the keyboard. Charlie on bass. Arch on guitar. Max on vocals. And there they all are. Vocals and on, on vocals. And a bit of tambourine. Just load in your tambourine and, and, you know, yeah, and then no, you're done. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I bring it in, place it down and walk off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. especially at the end. Sound check, Michael So I'm really looking forward to seeing you play. It'll be my first time because, unfortunately, I didn't get to see you at your London show. How was that? How did that feel? Yeah, uh, that very, very, very good, very good. You had it sold out, so yeah, it's packed. It's mm. good. Great, I'm really looking forward to seeing your set and thank you for coming to stand by a window with me. It's uh, much appreciated. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> All right, Mike Righteous. Yes, how you doing? You right? Yeah, I'm good. We're just here lurking in a corridor because some other stuff's happening. But how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Privileged to be here in Kent, doing my long-deserved like gig here, back back home or near home. You're nearly at home. Nearly yeah. at home, yeah. Beats, yeah. beats London. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's my home. So I feel, I feel like closer to home. I get home pretty easy after. Only going to take 20 minutes. Not going to take me three hours. <laughs> nice. And it means all your friends and family can come as well. You got some people from hometown of you? Yeah. Well, I've come with my little nephew. He's only nine years old, but he loves my music. So you know, it's hard. It's difficult to bring him all the way to London. So now we're in Canterbury. I could bring him along. So. You're on a really like mixed lineup, really diverse yeah. bill. You've played among like you know some guitar bands you've just had, and then Flory coming up, who's again totally different. How does that work when you're playing on a show like that? Is it something you've done before? Um, yeah, you know, you do different type of venue. I don't think it's about the lineup really. I think it's more about the um, who's who's outside and who's watching. I mean that it's, that that it all depends upon who's outside. Yeah, and um, you know you've got to perform to the crowd, so. If they're a listening crowd, you want to perform some of that more in, in, in intellectual, more deeper stuff. You know, if they're, if they're up for if everyone's drunk, then you just want to go and mad and have a little party vibe. So it really depends about the crowd. But um, with a lineup like this, you know, um, it's a mixture of stuff. But I'm glad I got the band here, so yeah. it'd be a little bit difficult if I was just on a CD. Yeah. Amazing. Well, I'm looking forward to it. A nice one. I'm really looking forward to your set as well. So It'll be the first time I've seen you. Is it? Yeah, first time I've seen you play. Oh wow! Actually, I saw you in the live land. Yeah, well, the a bit different, on. but yeah. Yeah, well, the pressure's on now. The pre- pressure is <laughs> certainly on. <laughs> Storybooks. Hi, Chris and Joe from Storybooks. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just come off off stage, the yeah. stage, the BBC Kent stage, which looks beautiful. Um, and we had a great gig, had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed watching it because you played really well, and you played some new songs as well, and I really enjoyed that. And you played some old songs which I knew, and I really enjoyed that as well. It's boding well for South by Southwest, which is soon. Oh uh, yeah, well we've been working hard so that we don't go out there and, and it just ends up being a waste of time and you know it's not, nothing worse than putting a load of effort into travelling for a gig and then yeah. you're not prepared. So we have been working very hard towards <laughs> that, as you could see. Yeah. Was that David Bowie? No. No. Oh, I wondered who it was that yeah. was talking then. David Brent, I think. Um, and so you're going all the way to Texas to do some gigs. How many gigs are you doing there? 
Hopefully. We've only got two books, and I hope, hope it stays that way. You only want to do two? Yes, please. Yeah, because I just want to go and have fun, really. I like, just want to hang around, yeah. you know. Because it is as much about hanging out with, like, because we've got some friends that are in bands there and stuff. I just yeah, who are your friends in bands? They, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we just want to be able to go and see them. Have yeah. barbecues. Yeah, drink beer. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you know, just like what we normally do. Buy cowboy boots and... Is that what you normally do? Well, Joe's not buying cowboy boots. He's bringing sixty pounds with him, and yeah, that's not going to get in cowboy I've been boots. Instructed to buy cowboy boots. That's, you know, and you yeah. say you're going to Texas, and people say I want cowboy boots. So. Hi, slaves. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello there. So, I'm mid, mid being wheeled at the moment, which I'm enjoying. To me. To you. Thanks for playing earlier for our birthday party. It sounded great. I think it went really well. I thought it went well. And you had fun? Lots. I had a blast. Let's talk about what happened halfway through, when the music stopped. What happened? So you can f*** the whole night or let him come back inside? We had a Everyone protest. Talk about that. We had a what protest. happened? Jacob, what happened halfway through our set? From my point of view, what I saw is two people who were getting on along very well and were enjoying Thanks. it in a, in a mosh pit style in. Would you say they were friends? I would say they were probably friends. Bearing in mind that I'd seen them before at your gigs. Okay. And they had been doing similar in, uh, enjoyable dancing. They were getting into the spirit. 1977 kind of thing? Very much so. They were the most passionate people in the room, second only to you. There was... <laughs> oh, thanks, this is better. I feel more comfortable now. Um, and anyway, so security split them up, basically, and there was a little tussle, but a like, proper tackle and everything. It was quite dramatic. I we enjoyed it. We had a it. protest because our, our friend Timothy Cox got, a, got in a headlock and then no, it wasn't, got it was, out. it was a full Nelson. I've only seen four sets so far because Flory's yet to come on and out of the four, yours was one of the best. Well, she's very, wearing a very glittery dress. Yeah, and some brand new silver I've shoes. She's practically a glitter ball tonight and that's not a bad thing. Like a birthday princess, you could say. Look at that. Felicity wishes. I don't know what that means, but I'm really it. glad it's on my badge. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> the Marlowe Slaves. All right. <laughs> Thanks, that'll do. Bye. Cheers, Jacob. Happy birthday. Bye, Jacob. Happy birthday, Jacob. We're slaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's our headliner. Hello, Flory. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, and sorry to bring you outside, but it's mainly because of the wonderful view. We want to look at the cathedral and the river and the Canterbury Quaker meeting. Duck. So, we're very, very excited that you're going to be playing. You're headlining our birthday party. For a start, have you seen the cake? No. Okay, so there's cake, so that's the first thing, um, which, we're, I mean, that's, I'm really excited about that bit, and then there's music, but the cake, because it comes first, kind of takes priority in, in, in for me. Um, what, what can we expect musically? Because I saw you sound checking earlier, all sounding amazing. You've got some new songs to play us as well. Yes, got a few new ones in the set, um, which will be the first time I've actually played them to anyone. Um, about four or five actually, so hopefully everyone's going to like them. Amazing. So what's the routine now? You've still got quite a few hours before you're on stage. What's, uh, what's the plan? Just a bit of chilling out? Or? Yeah, I'm going to check out some of the other guys playing um, tonight and then normally just calm, get ready and then kind of do a little dance before I go on. A little dance. Is there, is there a communal band dance? It is, yeah, it okay. is. <laughs> it's pretty good. Okay, nice. <laughs> Great, well, thank you so much for, for sparing the time. I'm really looking forward to the set, and I'll, yeah, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Awesome.